one today I'm going to show you the easiest sandwich and it's delicious, only a few ingredients and even you can make it. So what I have here is a loaf of ciabatta bread. I'm not going to use all of it, I'm only going to use half, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this in half. Put the other half to the side and then I'm cut this right down the middle. Perfect. Beautiful. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some mayonnaise on here. And then we're going to do some pesto. And I have some delicious horseradish cheese, which is, gonna, which is so good, especially with roast beef. So we're going to go ahead and add straight to here. However much you want, it did, or if you don't even like mayonnaise, you don't have to put it on there, but I do. So we're going to add this on there, just like this. And then to this bread, we're going to add some pesto. Now, if you want to make pesto, you can, but I just bought it because it's easy and why not? We're going to put some pesto on here. Oops. Make sure you get it all over. And this is going to add a really nice basil flavor to it. It's going to be delicious. Give it a nice, give it a good amount. There you go, just like this, perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and layer some roast beef on here. And then we're going to put the horseradish cheese. going to be so good. Now, I can't take full responsibility for this recipe. I did have something sort of like it up in Tallahassee when I went up there at this one restaurant called Paisley Cafe, which is delicious, and I recommend, recommend going there. So, it's my version. So we have, I like to put lots of meat on it, just like this. So I'm using about a half a pound here. Then time for some horseradish cheese. Get on here just like this. And then we have a pan over here that's been heating up. Perfect. Perfect. We're gonna do about a quarter pound of that. We want a lot of these flavors coming through. We're gonna put this back on. We're gonna wrap it in some aluminum foil. I just have this on low heat. You just want it nice and hot. If you have a griddle pan, you can use that. If you have a panini press, you can use that, but I don't. So we're going to put this on here. Now we're going to weigh it down. We're going to give it a good press, just like this. All right, we're going to let it cook on just for a couple minutes. You want the cheese to start to melt, and you want the beef to kind of heat up. So I'm going to leave it just like this. All right, so it's been about five minutes. I'm just going to flip it over here. Ooh, get hot. Back on, press it down. Now, if you want to do this cold, you can completely do it cold. It would, just, it would be just as good, but I'm going to make mine hot. So another five minutes. All right, so it's been about five minutes on the other side. Go ahead and make our sandwich out. It's nice and warm here. Ooh, look at that cheese is all melting. Yum, that looks so good. Oh my god, it smells unbelievable. Ooh, I'm cutting board here. Really hot. I'm just gonna cut as many sandwiches. You can do it in half, you can do it in quarters. I'm gonna do long strips like this. Ooh, it is hot. Perfect. How delicious does that look? You have the pesto, you have the roast beef, and that delicious cheese. There you go. A delicious sandwich. I hope you like it.